we're back. Am I gonna regret leaving this? But it's also kind of ugly, but that's kind of what I love about it. I might need an intervention soon. This is getting out of hand. I wonder if this would fit. Should I go for it? And not all the good vibes for me. But a great, successful first day back in Arizona thrifting. Love it. We are back at the thrift store today, except this one is a little bit different. I don't know if you can hear the air conditioning happening in my car right now, but I am unfortunately back in Arizona. If you don't follow me on Instagram or on my vlog channel, you may not know this, but we did move back to Arizona. It might be temporary. It's likely just gonna be for like a year. We have some stuff going on with family and everything. But regardless, we are back. It is the dead of summer and we're dealing with that. But the thrifting is so good in my hometown. Like I love coming thrifting here. This Savers particularly that I'm at is like one of my favorites. It's about 10 minutes after they opened on like a random Thursday. So I'm hoping it's not gonna be like a big crowd because it's not a sale day or anything like that. The parking lot doesn't look too full. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed. But since we just moved, kind of like a wish list vibe that I'm going for today is gonna be a lot of like summer friendly stuff, you know, hot temperature friendly. I'm really in need of some cute tops. A pair of jorts would be amazing, like a loose pair of denim jorts. I'm always on the hunt for those always on the hunt for a pair of like baggy jeans Levi's would be preferred some graphic tees would be cool summer dresses of course are a must out here like it's just so much easier to wear a dress and just have it nice and loose and flowy and then of course home decor like I love home decor from this particular thrift store I feel like we found some of the best stuff and we have a lot more wall space in this place so it would be really nice hello I also have a friend whose birthday is coming up. I would love to be able to find her a floral wall print, like some kind of floral art piece that she has been looking for. Um, that would be really cool. And then also we're in need of one more single dining chair. We have five of them. We need six for our current table. So finding a dining chair would be really cool. But yeah, that's kind of a rundown of what I am looking for at the thrift store today. But as always, you kind of just have to be willing to submit to whatever the thrift gods want to provide to you that day. You know, I have no idea what's going on in there. I may find like a winter coat I love. You just never know. So we're gonna head inside. We're gonna pop into Savers, do a little thrifting. I'm gonna give myself like an hour to go through everything and then we'll see what we can find. So let's do it. Let's go thrifting back in Arizona. bigger wall pieces so that's where we're gonna head first. I have found some of the cutest wall art here. I'm already seeing stuff I like. Oh god, oh god. Okay I'm not gonna lie right off the bat seeing this it hurts. <laughs> it hurts a little but we will likely be back. Starting off strong with the classic you know American very American print here, very Southwestern. We have a lot of old prints from like Marilyn Monroe. There's the Wizard of Oz. I forget who these guys are, I'm so sorry. Shirley Temple, Elvis, I mean, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of this at the thrift store, <laughs> but like cute stuff like this. I really like this actually. We're back in the Southwest for sure. Oh, this is just classic. Both of these would be really cute for a wall moment. And they're only $5.99, we got the big man. We got some pretty mountain ranges. Cute mirror, actually. Amen to that. This is honestly really freaking cool. It reminds me of the countryside in England, kind of. I also really like this one for $5.99. That's a pretty good deal. This is very heavy. So maybe on this one? I'll send it to Drew. I usually send him a picture. I'm like, do you like this? And he's like, yes or hell no. We got a cute little sunflower moment here. This is adorable. My dad is from Minnesota and he loves loons. Aren't these loons or are they ducks? Wait, now I can't tell. This is a cross stitch of what I think are loons. That might be a cool gift idea. We'll see about this. Is it weird that I think this is really cool for like a bathroom? and that I kind of want it. <laughs> I don't know. It is really cute. This is a really cool frame. I'm not as crazy about like that. I think it's like a creek or something like that. I'm not crazy about it, but it's only $14.99, which is a freaking steal 
for a frame that size. I also just found this print, which reminds me so much of Alexa. Like this is so, so cute. And it kind of could be like a me and her on like our little besties high tea moment together. So this might be a really cute birthday gift idea for her. I actually found something else in an estate sale recently, but this might be cute to add to it. We'll see. I think she would like this. It's cross-stitched. It's so precious. I think I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm a little scared. I might need an intervention soon. This is getting out of hand. I know I've got everything I say. I think there's like 10 pieces of art in my cart right now already. So we've got a lot. We've got a lot. We have this cute little cross stitch. I think this is like a like a nest with some eggs in it. Very adorable. So this kind of like creepy, maybe oil painting. It looks very, very old. So that's kind of cool. $3.99. I mean, I have to get it. And there's still this whole freaking wall to go. Lord help me. Baby, you should know this. This would be very cute for a kitchen, but I'm not sure about it. We'll see. If you're from Arizona, you know. <laughs> I'm being welcomed home. This is very cute, but it's a little more like 80s, 90s. And I'm kind of looking for like 50s, 60s or earlier. But, you know, a cool option. Not sure about this. All right, I am cutting myself off from the art. I need to weave in and out of these other home decor little shelves. And we'll see what else is left. But I need to look for clothes too, so we need to wrap this up soon. Let's see what we find. Um, cute. Cute little gravy boat. Precious. It is time to finally cut myself off from over there and move into the clothing section. It's been like 30 minutes already, so I need to pick this up. And we're just gonna pop into whatever section we feel like doing. First, we're gonna do maybe women's tops. I think we'll start there because that's my least favorite, so let's get that over with. Who's to know what happens when the world ends? At least this is a no okay bar. It's an awful house and I want it to get you out This is pretty cute, this little denim number. I found this one, it's like a sleeveless denim button up. Who remembers bongo jeans? Wow, what an absolute throwback. I'm tempted to get this, but I know I probably won't wear it. It's still pretty cool. Oh, nothing feels the same without you now. There were a couple couple top options that we will go through in a little bit. Next, I'm gonna move into the like nightgowns, lingerie section, because sometimes you can find really cute slip dresses to wear as actual dresses and like cute little tops and things like that. So we'll go through that next and hopefully, fingers crossed, find a little something because those are so perfect for summer. You can't see if you sweat in them. Love it. Also, I forgot how awkward it is to film in Arizona because in LA, everyone I think is used to people walking around with cameras, but here it's very weird. So I'm trying to be as discreet as possible. <laughs> I'm literally hiding. When I'm choked up next to you, I've waited for How cute this is. This cute little nighty. This would be such a cute dress. I could see Alexa wearing something like this. So precious. Okay, wait. Is it weird that I kind of want this? The only thing is the material is very sweaty. Like it feels like Halloween costume material, which is tragic because I would 100% have gotten this. I think I've seen it all. We have a pajama, jeans, nightgown, dress. Wow. 
fascinating. Okay, these I think are supposed to be a pajama set. It's got like a cute little peplum-ish top and some matching pants. I would wear this as clothes. And it's $7.99 for the set. I think I need to get it. It's got a cute little Lauren Conrad. I don't know if this is supposed to be a nightgown or more if it's like a duster, but very cute. We also have this vintage, I'm assuming it's like a nightgown or maybe it's a dress, but it's really cute. I probably wouldn't get much wear out of it, but so cute and retro. Remember when all of our grandmas wore like fancy nighties like this to bed and around the house and I wear my same crusty Jonas Brothers t-shirt and shorts that are falling apart? <laughs> LOL. Look at this little red number. Again, like another robe duster. How cute. We got some boxers. That would be really cute if you're interested in the trend but you don't want to spend a lot of money. Oh my, these are cute too. Sorry, side note, precious. I may have to grab these. Anyways, there's lots of really cute boxers to choose from as well for a very affordable price. And thrifting is one of my favorite ways to try out trends when I'm not ready to like fully commit, you know? Cute red slip dress. I would totally buy this if it was my size. Such good condition and it has a little bow on the front. So cute. Couple other ones. This one's obviously very see-through, but so precious. I'm always down for a leopard moment. I used to have almost this exact one actually. Love this pink. So pretty, so cute. Nothing is really calling my name though. So let's move on to the next section. so nostalgic like a dress that would be for my childhood from like a boutique or something which i think it definitely is it's got new tags on it this is the brand it says it's one size but i think this would fit and it looks really cute this little striped t-shirt dress is super cute it's the hole in the back of it though but i mean that doesn't really bother me that much i just worry about it being a little too snug i would want it to be a nice loose flowy fit so i'll probably pass on this but it is cute and then i found this dress by winnie the pooh brand and it's got tiggers along the bottom which is so cute but i think i hate this like isn't this called damask or something like that this isn't my favorite but this is so cute i'm like do i keep this and turn it into a two-piece set I just know I probably wouldn't do that and I want to leave this for someone who may end up loving it. But what a cute freaking Disney dress. I love it. This is a cute little Walmart dress. It has a keyhole. It has pads, which is nice because you probably wouldn't have to wear a bra with it. The material is like very sweaty though, but super cute and very fun for summer. Super cute little cherry print dress. I'm kind of over my wrap dress phase. But how precious is this print? I wonder if this would fit. Should I go for it? Some of these dresses are a little expensive, like $11.99. I know that I would pay way more than that at a flea market, but when I'm at Savers, I have like a set price in my head, you know? So I don't know. The thing is, I would totally get this cute little romper. It's like very baggy, cute, adorable, but the crotch part of it, can you see how stretched out that is? I don't think that's gonna work. Cute option though. is super cute it's by the brand Croft and Barrow. I like the sort of silhouette of it. I love a baby doll dress. I just feel like it might be a little too long and I don't know if I love the stripes but look how precious that is and like a linen blend for summer. So good. All right next I think I'm gonna take a look through the men's section because sometimes I can find like some of my favorite things I've ever thrifted. In the men's section you can find so many blazers, jeans, shorts, t-shirts. It's kind of like hit and miss, but I want to take a quick browse through and see what there is, so I'm hoping for good stuff. The first thing that caught my eye right off the bat is this jersey that's hanging up here. Look how cute that is. It matches my shoes. 
So with like a little black skirt or something? That might be cute, but it's also kind of ugly. I don't know, we'll see. If you're on the hunt for like an oversized button down to wear like open and loose and flowy over like a t-shirt or a tube top over the summer, the men's section is such a good place for that. They have short sleeve ones, long sleeve ones, so many cute prints and patterns to choose from. Some of these are probably even long enough to be a dress, which is so cute. And I love this one, love these colors. Also, thrifting bandanas can kind of be difficult. And I just saw these out of the corner of my eye. And I think I'm gonna get a red one and a black one because they're only $2 and you can wear them in your hair, which is really cute. But also you can tie them around your neck with like graphic tees and stuff. And it's just such a cute little accessory. So we're gonna do that. There used to be a time when I would spend so many hours going through all of the t-shirts in the men's section. But honestly, I do not have that in me anymore. I just don't feel like there are good like vintage tees at the thrift that much these days. But if you're looking for good oversized t-shirts to sleep in or looking for shirts for like your dad or your boyfriend or if that's what you like to wear, great option because they're usually like two bucks. I just don't think I have that in me today, you know? I just don't think I've got it in me. This shirt's really cute though. I get this for Drew. I'm gonna take a quick browse through the hats because you just never know and you can wash and sanitize them in your washing machine. Oh, Minnesota! Okay. Got quite a variety of different, <laughs> different teams going on here. Be a good base trucker hat if you wanted to like DIY. That's cute. Lots of Minnesota stuff. Someone must have lived in Minnesota and was like a snowbird here or something. In case you haven't heard of it and are from another part of the country, a snowbird is someone who comes and lives in Arizona in the winter only. And locals in Arizona don't like that because they feel like there's more traffic, it's busier places. But um, Loki, that is one of my dreams in life is to be a snowbird someday. So we'll see. I'm also gonna take a quick browse through the men's jeans. I'm in between like a 38 and a 40. 40 is if I want it like really baggy. And that's kind of what I'm looking for is like a much baggier type of vibe. So let's see if I can find some Levi's cause I've been striking out lately. These aren't Levi's, but really baggy and cute. So these are a maybe. These are kind of cool. I think I'm going for it. For $8, like honestly, let's do it. As much as I would love to test out that whole wrap the jeans around your neck hack, um, that doesn't work for big girlies. So we're just gonna buy these with a wing and a prayer or whatever that phrase is. First off, I'm loving the Taylor Swift in the background. Secondly, these would be such a cute pair of jorts, not my right size. Also this pair, I mean, it's kind of the paper bag vibe I want, but again, not the right size, so sad. I need to find a pair of jeans like this. Okay, walking through the shoe section, there is definitely a surplus of shoes, but I just don't know if any of them are like my style or what I would want. These little slingbacks are cute. I found a pair of jellies, like classic jellies, millennials, if you know, you know. Definitely lots of cute boots. We have like a little Doc Martin dupe, cute. Okay, wait, this is a pair of Ariats. And honestly, these are $24.99. These would easily go for like $60 at the Rose Bowl. That's why I love being back in Arizona. I don't think they're my right size and I don't think I would wear them, but look how cool they are. The Pinterest girlies would go nuts over these. All right, and then last but not least, I think we're gonna end it in women's skirts. I'm not really on the hunt for anything else at the moment. Like I don't want pants or women's jeans or anything like that. So I think we're just gonna browse through the skirts. I would love to find some maxi skirts or some mini skirts. Not really much in between, but that's probably most of what we're gonna find. So we'll see. Of course I found a white tiered maxi skirt. 
I love these. It's in my size, but I have like three. I actually, if you watched my recent closet clean out, I actually had to get rid of a couple, but it's just so cute. No, we're gonna say no. This looks really cool and vintage. Orange kiss, it might not be, but it looks like it. This cute little checkered skirt, adorable. I also found, speaking of vintage, this really cool skirt, but the shorts are really long, so I don't really know. I feel like this might be too long for me, but it's by the brand Classic Elements. Size 14, I know it would fit, but I just feel like it would be too long. So cute though. I would also totally get this cute little maxi skirt. It's kind of like in between midi and maxi. It has a little slit on the side. It's by the brand Laura Scott Petite. I am not petite, but it is cute. This is a really good vintage number as well. Kato, who remembers them? How cool is this? I don't know what this style is called, but I'm sure it's very popular with Gen Z at the moment. <laughs> this skirt from American Eagle is amazing. It's a size extra large, so it's definitely my right size, but I think it would be way too short to wear with bike shorts underneath. I have a similar one from Old Navy that's like a little bit too long, and I feel like this one's a little bit too short, so we'll pass on that. It has a little stain on the front too, but very cute. I love this. I think it's by, yeah, No Boundaries, which I think is a Walmart brand. But like, look how cute that is. Again, I think it might be too short, but also kind of like the same length that my dress is right now. So it might work like with a cute vintage tee. Why not do it? $4.99? Why not? All right, I have now been in this thrift store for actually almost two hours. I don't know how this time went by so quickly, but I have done enough damage. I have enough stuff hanging in my cart. I'm gonna take one quick final loop to see if I grab anything else. I'm gonna go through everything I have in my cart, check out, wash and sanitize it, and then we will catch up at home and I will show you everything I got. But a great, successful first day back in Arizona thrifting. Love it. the next day we're back I've got everything washed and sanitized I am ready to go I have my stack of art here and then my stack of clothes I would say it's a pretty successful thrifting day if you ask me I probably went a little overboard I was just excited to be back and you know typically when I go thrifting it's a matter of like me trying to find things and at this place it was me sorting through all of the options and like limiting what I was gonna get like kind of paring it down you know I will start with home decor I also want to say if you are my friend Alexa sweet yeah. Alexa Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here, boop. You are not allowed to watch this part of the video because I am showing some things that I potentially, maybe, got you for your birthday. So click off this video. Anyways, I won't get into that right this second, but I will share with you the absolute stack of things that I got for my own home. So the first thing is this, I think it's like an oil painting. It has texture anyway. I don't know if this is an original painting, but it kind of looks like it. It's a very old vintage frame and it's got sort of like a, I don't know if this is like a Dutch situation going on with the windmill, but it just looks really cool and old and very kind of like top hats, carriages, just looks, you know, very vintage. So I love that. I also got a little piece of art for my friend Sydney for her birthday. She has been on the hunt for like a cute little vintage floral art print. So I got this one. This says it was made by Jan Handcrafts in Victoria, BC, Canada. So shout out to Jan. This is going to be a cute little, we're going to add this to like a couple other things for a gift for our friend. Then I actually found a couple little frames inside of the like bags. Do you ever thrift in those? I don't know that I showed it in the actual video because I just kind of grabbed it on the way out. But if you search near the home decor, a lot of times there will be these little like plastic bags that have just a bunch of random stuff in them. And I found some of them that have tiny little frames and that is what I'm looking for, like any kind of brass or gold frame that I can put like a cute little photo in or a little art print or something like that is gonna be great. So we're kind of starting one in our bedroom. So the first one is this little double frame, which is just so cute. It's probably for like school pictures, but I don't know, I'll put some art in there. We have this little black and silver one. This would be cute in our bathroom. We have like a very tiny gallery wall in our bathroom, so that might be cute to add. We have this sort of like texturized one. I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but it's just got such a cool 
cool texture almost like it looks like it'd be fabric or something but it's not it's just like solid you know gold paint or whatever we have another brass moment just a classic you know simple one that we can put something cute in we have this wooden one which has something framed inside of it I can't tell what this is like is this a spittoon but we have this little guy here with something silver in the middle and it's got like a sort of redwood with some gold and then the mat is like kind of a pink color I love that we have another super tiny little gold frame this is just like a single one that kind of matches the double one we have this wooden one this just came in the bag I'm not that crazy about it but we'll probably find a spot for it it would look cute in here on my wall so maybe and then we have like a wooden painted gold one that has some little designs on the side very simple and cute so each of those I think I got two of the bags and I think each of the bags was $3.99 so like eight bucks for all of that art pretty good deal in my opinion then I did pick up this one I don't remember how much it was because I took off a lot of the stickers when I was like wiping these down with Lysol but this is just a cute this is just a cute sunflower print. I really like this one. I just mostly got it for the frame though. And then I got two mirrors. They're slightly the same, but also kind of different, but they look like they came in a set because they're like exactly the same, but they're just kind of like these gold ornate. Oh, there you are. These gold ornate frames that are mirrors, but you can also take off the back of them and put in a photo if you want. So I like that a lot. So that is the art that I got for like my home. And then also my friend's birthday gift that I showed will have already passed by the time this goes up. But then something that hasn't happened yet is Miss Alexa's birthday. I got her a couple other things just because like, I don't know, I've been thrifting and finding stuff that I like for her. But I did get her this cute little pink horse because she is very into horse stuff at the moment, like horse decor and like carousel horses, especially. This one says it's made in the Philippines and it's got some sort of like coin collection thing going on. It has cute little gemstones. And like, I just think that's so her and so fun. And then I did end up getting the little teddy bear tea party art print. I don't know if she's gonna like this, but I think she will. If she doesn't, she can totally redonate it, but it was like custom framed, you know, super cute. So those were my little additions from my bestie girl, Alexa. Now we're gonna move on to the clothing. So I did get a couple tops, couple dresses, just some random stuff, honestly. Starting off in the pajama section, I did get this set of technically pajamas, but I feel like it might be kind of cute worn separately or even like as a set. I don't know, call me crazy, but this is by Secret Treasures. I don't know if this is Walmart or not, but it has this cute little polka dot pair of pants, which I did not realize in the moment that they were kind of pantaloons. So we have a little jogger situation happening here. We'll see. We can do something with that, I'm sure. And then the matching tank top, which number one, these would just be comfortable as pajamas, but also styled in other ways. I like this sort of little peplum situation or just a little extra something something at the bottom of the tank top. I think that's cute and fun. And these are just like my dream. This very stretchy thin material is my dream for pajamas because I get really, really hot. I just run really hot as a person in general, but then also when it comes to sleep, like I literally sweat if I am wearing anything other than like really thin stretchy material. So love that. Next, we're gonna move on to, I think tops. We'll do tops next. This was actually, I think the first thing that I picked out, this is by the brand Vivaldi Jeans where it says it's an extra large and it is this really cute, this is so me in childhood. It's this really cute denim vest top that ties in the front. And this is just so 90s. I feel like it would be so cute with like a little maxi skirt or even like a little mini skirt or a tiered skirt or something like that. Definitely with a skirt. Also, if you wanted to do a double denim moment, this with some jeans, a little hoedown throwdown moment. What do we think about that? I don't know, kind of cute. So I want to say this shirt was like $3.99 and it is true vintage. I love a vintage tag, even though I don't like the way they feel. I like to know that it's there. Do you know what I mean? Speaking of vintage, I found this one. I mean, it feels silly to call it vintage because I vividly remember this brand and it's Cherokee. This was like a Target brand, I believe. And I found this cool sort of like vest top, which these are honestly very current and trendy at the moment. And this is a little bit more of a boxy one, which I thought would be really cute with denim shorts. This is in a size 1X. I don't remember Cherokee having a plus size line, but according to this tag, it is literally by Cherokee plus size. And I just like this sort of faded like gray, black, and maybe taupe, sort of like mini gingham pattern with the buttons. I just think this is gonna be so cute and so simple. It could probably also be dressed up as well if you wore it with like some black trousers or like a little black skirt with some Doc Martens, like low top ones and like some cute socks. You see what I'm saying? Very nice. 
90s vibes so far and we're not stopping anytime soon because I just love nostalgia. I love dressing for my younger self. It makes me super happy. And both of those tops are so fun. Now this one, okay, this is like me going out on a limb a little bit because I sort of went through a phase with short sleeve button down tops and then I kind of got the ick for them a little bit, but I've been seeing a lot more of them styled recently and I think this could be really, really cute if it's styled the right way. So this is by the brand Emily Daniels. I think this might be a more current find, but this is a red short sleeve gingham button down top. So I thought this might just be cute, like open, with like a little tube top underneath, and then maybe like a black maxi skirt, like one of my little slinky ones with like some Doc Martin sandals or something. I don't know, kind of a vibe. If you have any styling suggestions for this one, let me know, but I just love the red gingham. You guys know I'm on a gingham kick at the moment, especially red and black. So I was super happy to find this. I also feel like this could be something that if I wanted to do like a sleeveless vibe, I could have the sleeves removed and then make it more of like a tank top. But honestly, I think I'm gonna keep it like this and I'm just gonna wear it as is. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna style this that makes me feel like feminine, but also put together and like not country bumpkin at the same time. But also I'm not opposed to country bumpkin. Just like, I don't wanna look like I'm cosplaying. Do you know what I mean? Ain't nothing better than farm fresh egg for breakfast. And then the last top, I did end up getting on a whim. I know I could style this and make it cute. I don't know how practical this is gonna be, but I think this one was like, I don't know, it was very affordable. I wanna say it was like $5 or less, and it is a jersey, and I think this is an actual jersey. Like, I'm pretty sure this is like a like an actual football jersey, but I feel like styled the right way, it could be cute. Like, styled with some cargo pants and like a little slick back bun. I don't know, this could be such a vibe. This is by... Don Allison Athletic. This looks like a very old tag, so this could be vintage. Shout out to number 34, whoever you are. I just think this would be cute, you know? It's just such a fun like color scheme as well. I feel like they would definitely sell something like this at like Zara or Aritzia and it's kind of authentic, you know? It's very see-through, so I'd have to do some sort of like bandeau tank top situation underneath, but I kind of like this. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I know you will and I appreciate you and I love you for it. I love the honesty. Next up, we're gonna do dresses. I did end up getting two dresses. The first one is by the brand Mamta, Memta. And this is a one size dress, so I'm a little nervous about the fit, but I think it's gonna be cute. And this is like the most 90s kid random boutique. Like I grew up in Arizona where there was all these little like kitschy boutiques in places like Sedona and Prescott, like up in Northern Arizona. And this kind of reminds me of something you would find there or at like an earthbound store, you know what I mean? But also I think it could be styled to be very, very cute with some Doc Martin sandals, like I mentioned before. It's got the cute little sort of like 90s tie in the back. I love the color and like the little details on the front are so cute. We have all this like embroidery, but it's in the same color and I think that's really fun. And then these buttons are just like a sort of like opalescent, maybe like silver, dark gray. Just super cute. Very simple to throw on. Could be like a pool cover up. Could be just like a throw it on when you don't know what you want to wear and you have like a full outfit. That's what I love about dresses. I talk about that all the time. So yeah, that one was I think like $7, something like that. So pretty happy about that. And then this one I'm like not. 100% sure about and then when I washed it I realized that it actually wasn't sleeveless that there were like little cap sleeves But I think they were just like tucked underneath I'm not exactly sure how I feel about this style anymore, but I couldn't put it down for some reason It's by the Arizona Jean Co brand. So I think it's from like JC Penney I literally don't care where something is from and if it's considered trendy or cool um, I just wear what I like so keep that in mind when you're thrifting But I just love this print and I love the like red dress with the cherry print I just think that's so fun and unique and it's got like little pink cherries on it and it does have the little cap sleeves, but I don't know. I think this could kind of be a vibe. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, but I'm, I'm pretty happy about that one. I think I'm probably gonna get the most use out of that one if it ends up fitting correctly, which I think it will. This one is kind of pissing me off a little bit because what is this material? Is it like rayon or something? It's viscose and polyester. Okay, that makes sense because I found that when you wash things that are viscose or polyester, they shrink up so much. And I really tried when I like hung this to dry to like shake it out and stretch it. But basically this is the cute little mini skirt that I got. However, when I washed it, I feel like it made the skirt shorter than the liner. And that makes me irrationally angry. But this is a really cute skirt. I love how neutral it is. I love this pattern. I love anything floral, you guys know that. This is kind of like in person, a little more tan, beigey, but I think it comes off a little more white on camera, but it's so cute. It has these little like daisies on it. 
This is by the brand No Boundaries in a size extra extra large or like a 19 because they do junior sizes and it's a little bit different but just this with like a graphic tee, little tank top, some cute platform sandals, you're good to go. So once I rewash that and kind of like stretch it out a lot more intentionally when I'm hanging it to dry, I think it'll be perfect. And then I did end up getting this pair of jeans by Covington. I can't stop thrifting baggy pairs of jeans. I can't decide if I want to keep these as an actual pair of jeans or cut them into jorts because I love a baggy jort for summer. And I feel like I've tried so many different videos finding the perfect summer shorts and I love them all, but I typically go back to either my Abercrombie Curve Love pair that I discovered recently that I love or an old pair of just Lee jeans or Gap jeans or something like that that I thrifted for $7 and cut off. So that's probably what I'll end up doing with this. These are a size 38. They do look a little more baggy and oversized. I mean, these look like a really good pair of jeans. Oh yeah, the brand is Covington did I say that already? I feel like these are even maybe more of like a mid-rise type of style which I after my Abercrombie fitting room video so many of you were so encouraging in the comments and were like Carrie that literally looks so good you need to go back and get those jeans. I don't really want to pay a hundred dollars so I figured trying like a seven eight dollar version first and then seeing how we go from there will be a better option but yeah these are super cute and we'll see how much wear I get out of them. It's quite hot at the moment but it's nice in my house so at least we have that. And then finally I I did get two bandanas that I showed you. We got this red one, super cute, just like the simple classic red bandana pattern. I used to have one and I don't know what I did with it. And then this black one was hanging up like this, right? So I'm like, oh cute. We have a black one and a red one, adorable. Um, well, you could understand my surprise when I took this out of the washing machine and I realized that it is in fact a prime bandana. I'm pretty sure this is like Logan Paul's drink brand or something like that. That's not my vibe at all whatsoever. Kudos to the thrift store. They got $2 out of me for that one and um, that's quite annoying, but I'll probably like, I don't know, maybe my niece would want it or like someone's teenager would probably like this um, and that's probably where it came from or I may just donate it right back to the savers. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, that is everything I got. This was quite a long one, but I had so much fun bopping around in that thrift store for two hours. Like I just had a blast. It was such a fun way to inaugurate this new chapter, whether it be temporary or not. Um, probably temporary, let's be honest. But yeah, the thrifting is very different between Arizona and California, especially like a big city like LA, but I'm excited to explore it more with you guys. So if you have any requests of what you want to see, definitely let me know in the comments below. We can go to more estates sales. They're not going to be exactly the same, but we can totally still do that. We can go to thrift stores. I can try to find some flea markets, things like that, you know? So definitely let me know in the comments below. And yeah, just thank you so much for being here. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. I'm sending you all of my love and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!